A Singapore-based firm is developing a test that can detect some of the deadliest types of cancer early in a move seen as significant for preventive health care. Biotech company Merexis will pump more than $50 million over three years into Project Cadence, which also involves seven healthcare and academic institutions. Lauren Ong with this report. Ambitions are big in this research lab, where scientists are developing a test that can screen for nine types of cancers, including those of the lung, breast, esophagus and liver. The goal is simple is to move the stage of diagnosis from currently the stage 3 and stage 4 to stage 1 and stage 2 based on a single blood test. And that will improve survival by easily 50% and possibly cut down the actual treatment cost. Morex's work involves the unique combination of two types of biomarkers, which is said to make the test more sensitive and specific than those currently in the market. Scientists will need to analyze blood signatures of 12,000 research participants, those with cancer and those without, so that the test will be able to tell them apart. And as soon as two years, if all goes well, more than 100,000 people can get tested. It'll take a trip to the doctor, a single drop of blood and at least $600. Cancer is a leading cause of death worldwide, and in Singapore, cases are rising. The health ministry says in the past 50 years, the rate of people who have contracted the disease went from 190 for every 100,000 people to 235. While cases for some types of cancer have decreased over the years, like those of the lung, others like breast, colon and rectum cancer have been climbing up with lifestyle changes. The health ministry says overall rates are expected to climb up with Singapore's aging population. Health Minister Ong Yi Kang, who launched the project, says the country's population is under-screened for cancer. He says the project is well aligned with Singapore's pivot to preventive health care. This is really able to happen in a big way <clears throat> because of technological advancement. And it is not just a slogan that we are moving out of hospitals to the community, curative to preventive care. What we are creating is an entire new system, an entire new receptacle for technological advancement to its mostest for our population. The project isn't just concocting Singapore's next pharmaceutical breakthrough. It's also building up the nation's biotech manpower. More than 80 jobs in research, manufacturing and data science will be on offer over this three-year period.